Hello students. Today let us go through the passive. As you all know, a sentence can be expressed in two different ways. What are they? They are the active and the passive. So we can express our sentences either in active voice or in passive voice. When we want to make the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action. The sentence is said to be active voice. And when we, we want to make the subject of a sentence is the receiver of the action, the sentence is said to be in passive voice. At the same time, you know what kind of verb is required in voice change. In voice change, the verb must be a transitive verb. Because the object of the active will be the subject of the passive. Now, let me acquaint you the rules of the passive. First of all, simple present passive. In simple present passive, the structure is the object of active plus is or am or are plus past participle form of the verb plus other words and by agent. Do you get it? Now, let us go through the second one. That is present progressive passive. The rule is the object of active plus is or am or are plus being plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Then the third one. That is present perfect passive. And the rule is the object of active plus has or have plus been plus V3, that is past participle form of the verb, plus other words and by agent. And you know, present perfect progressive sentences cannot be passivized. Now, the fifth one is, that is simple past passive. The rule is, the object of active plus was or were plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Clear? Now let us go through the next one that is past progressive passive. In past progressive passive, first of all, we will have the object of active plus was or where plus being plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Now the seventh one that is past perfect passive. The rule is object of active plus head plus been plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Clear? Now, the eighth one, that is past perfect progressive. And you know, past perfect progressive sentences cannot be passivized. That means, they cannot be transformed into passivized. Now, let us go through future structure one passive. And the rule is, the object of active plus shall or will plus be plus past participle form of the verb plus other words and by agent. Here, then you know a uh, future structure to sentences cannot be passivized. Now, the 11th one, that is future structure 3 passive. The rule is object of active plus shall or will plus have plus been plus V3 plus other words and by agent. And the last one, that is future structure 4, sentences cannot be pacified. Now, let us go through the activities of our grammar book. Here is activity 1. What are we said in activity 1? Change the sentence below into their passive forms. So, we had to change all the sentences from active to passive. The first sentence, the headmaster punished the student. Here the subject is the headmaster punished in the past form of punish. The student is object. Subject the headmaster punished V2 and the student object. We use subject plus V2 plus object in simple past active. And the rule of simple past passive is the object of active will be the subject of passive, then was or where plus V3 plus other words and by agent. 
elective, the object is the student. Thus, it becomes the subject of a passive. The, sub, the student, as it is singular, it will take watch. Then, V3 form of punish is punished. The student was punished by the headmaster. Then, policemen build large houses. Study the structure of this sentence. Here, policeman is subject. Build is present form of the verb that is V1 and large houses is object. If you put here but question, you will get large houses. What do policemen build? Large houses. And you know, to get the object of a sentence, we put either what question or home question. In the first sentence, we put home question. Whom did the headmaster punish? The answer was the student. Here, what did the policemen build? The answer is large houses. Your large houses will be the subject of a passive. But the second sentence is in simple present form of the present form. And you know simple present passive. That is the object of active plus is or am or are plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Large houses becomes the subject of a passive. Large houses as it is plural. It will take the plural form of the verb are. Large houses are and B3 form of build is built. B U I L T. Large houses are built by policemen. Then the third sentence. The umpire declared the batsman out. So the umpire is subject. Declared is B2. And we use subject plus B2 in simple past active. And you know the rule of simple past passive. That is the object of active plus was or where plus V3 plus other words and by agent. Here if you put what home question you will get the batsman. Whom did the umpire declare out? The answer is the batsman. So the batsman will be the subject of passive. The batsman as it is singular it will take singular verb. Watch. Then V3 form of declare is declared. The batsman was declared out by the umpire. Now let us go through the fourth sentence. Did division betray Robert? It is an interrogative sentence and it is in simple past active. And you know the rule of simple past passive. That is the object of active plus was or where plus V3. As it is in interrogative, uh, the auxiliary was will be used initially. Watch. Then Robert, as it is the object of active, it will be the subject of passive. Was Robert and V3 form of betray is betrayed. Was Robert betrayed by Bevisha? Now, the fifth sentence. Van Gogh did not paint this picture. It is a negative sentence. It is a simple past negative. And the rule is the object of active plus was or where plus not plus V3. Here the object is this picture. If you put what question, what did Van uh, Gogh not paint? This picture. So it will be the subject of passive. This picture, it is similar, so it will take similar verb. Watch. This picture, watch, not, and V3 form of paint is painted. This picture was not painted by Van Gogh. Now, now here is activity 2. And what are we said here? Change the voice of the sentences below. What does it mean? It means if the sentence is in active, then we have to change it into passive. If the sentence is in passive, then we have to change it into active. Do you get it? Now let us go through the first sentence of this activity. The dates for polling have been announced by the election commission. Study the verb pattern of this sentence. Have plus been plus V3. Have plus been plus V3 we use in present perfect passive. Hence, the sentence is in present perfect passive. What we have to do here? We have to change this sentence into present perfect active. Here, by agent will be 
the subject of active that is the election commission the election commission it is singular so it will take singular verb h then v3 the election commission has announced what the dates for polling the election commission has announced the dates for polling clear if we change this sentence into passive the answer will be the dates for polling have been announced by the election commission clear now let us go through the second sentence odias living in america have sent 50 crore rupees for relief work study the tense pattern of the sentence have plus v3 we use have plus v3 in present perfect active thus this sentence is in present perfect active we have to transform this sentence into passive clear here the object is 50 crore rupees if you put what question what has odias living in america sent the answer is 50 crore rupees so this 50 crore rupees will be the subject of a passive 50 crore rupees have been sent for relief work by odias living in america subject 50 crores as it is plural we have used plural verb and as this sentence is in present perfect passive we use been then v3 form of sent is sent then other words plus by agent 50 crores or 50 crore rupees have been sent for relief work by odias living in america clear now let us go through the third sentence the party has chosen a new president you study this verb structure has plus v3 has plus v3 we use in present perfect active thus the sentence is in present perfect active what we have to do here we have to change this sentence into present perfect passive in this sentence the object is a new president if you put what question what has the party chosen the answer is a new president a new president will be the subject of passive a new president as it is singular it will take h then b then b3 a new president has been chosen by the party clear then the fourth sentence the plane was hijacked by five terrorists study the verb pattern was plus v3 or were plus v3 where to use we use in simple past passive hence the sentence is in simple past passive what we have to do here we have to change this sentence into simple past active here by agent will be the subject of active five terrorists then v2 form of hijack v2 form of hijack is hijack five terrorists hijack the plane clear five terrorists hijack the plane if we transform this sentence into passive the answer will be the plane was hijacked by five terrorists then study the next sentence can model auxiliary then this check b and cast by my brother can plus b plus b3 we use in uh, passive model plus b plus b3 we use in passive we have to change this sentence into active can will remain as usual then by agent will be the subject of active can my brother then v1 model models always take v1 only model auxiliaries immediately after them take v1 can my brother and case this check if we transfer this sentence into passive the answer will be can this check be and case by my brother clear can this check be and case by my brother can my brother and case this check 